Today, we know that the phenotype of all mammals, from rodents to non human primates to humans, is driven by the metagenome. The metagenome itself is the combination of the host genome and the microbial genome, also known as the microbiome. In the natural world, the microbiomes of free living mammalian organisms, including wild mice and humans, co evolved with their respective hosts. Under evolutionary pressure, in regards to inflammatory immune stimuli such as infectious pathogens, but also toxins and mutagens frequently encountered in the natural world. In our study, we hypothesize that natural microbiota, shaped by evolution in a challenging environment, promote the fitness and survival of their host, upon whom they depend. These conditions dramatically changed when wild mice, the source of all current laboratory mice, were removed from their natural habitat and transferred into an ultra clean laboratory environment. Importantly, wild mice were germ free, re derived to cleanse them from microbes and pathogens, and re colonized in a restrictive laboratory environment, leading to the loss of their natural microbiome and its positive impact on health. Thus, we hypothesize that laboratory mice lack physiologically important microbes present in natural microbiota and absent in laboratory microbiota. Since the microbiome is an important part of the phenotype defining mammalian metagenome, laboratory mice can be regarded as a laboratory meta organism with a specific physiology that only exists in the laboratory world and that is very different from the natural meta organism and its associated physiology, including responses to infectious diseases. This might explain why laboratory mice, while paramount for understanding basic biological phenomena, are limited in their predictive utility for modeling complex diseases of humans and other free living mammals. So we decided to give laboratory mice back what they have lost a naturally co evolved wild mouse gut microbiome. We identified a closely related wild living kin to current laboratory mouse strains by looking at the genetics of wild mice trapped in multiple locations across the globe. The natural gut microbiota of suitable donor mice were characterized and viably preserved for the subsequent transfer. As donors, we selected gut microbiota of wild mice that tested negative for all currently known mouse pathogens. This approach allowed us to exclusively study the effects of natural microbiota on host physiology and not the effects driven by infections. To achieve an efficient engraftment, pregnant germ free mice were reconstituted with natural gut microbiota of wild mice, leading to a colonization of the mother, thereby allowing vertical microbiome transfer to newborn pups and enabling microbiota mediated effects on the pups before and after birth. Thus, we have created a chimeric meta organism that combines the best features of both worlds fitness promoting microbes of natural microbiota and tractable genetics, an extremely important research tool of laboratory mice. These animals were subsequently used for breeding and experiments. We hypothesize that natural microbiota promote host fitness in regards to naturally occurring inflammatory stimuli like infectious diseases and toxins and or mutagens. Indeed, when we challenged our chimeric mice with an influenza dose lethal for almost all laboratory mice, they were protected and survived. This was associated with significantly reduced inflammation in the lung. Likewise, when the mice were subjected to a treatment that induces inflammation and mutagenesis in the colon, they had a much lower tumor burden than standard laboratory mice. Thus, they were protected in two disease models relevant to humans. We propose that creating animal models with natural microbiota enables the discovery of protective mechanisms relevant in the natural world and absent in current laboratory animals. Consequently, natural microbiota should increase the predictive utility of laboratory mice for modeling complex diseases of free living mammals.